the tapped hole on this part. To make a tapped hole, I'm going to start off with a drill bit that is about the minor diameter or the smaller diameter on the threads of the tap. So this one's actually a little bit smaller than my tap, which hopefully you can see that there. I want to drill that to a depth that is deeper than however deep I want to cut this tap hole. So I want to tap this to about a half an inch. So I'm going to drill a hole that's about an inch deep, so I got about a half inch of extra space at the bottom of that. The threads will never go all the way to the bottom of the hole. We have a bottoming tap, which will get you close, but not all the way. So I'm going to set this up in my drill. I've got some chips in here from last time, and I don't want those to put my part out of balance. So I'm just going to brush away as many of the chips as I can, try and make sure that that is clean. I've got a setup block again that needs to be thinner than my part. So I'm going to put that in right near the middle of the drill and then put this on top of it. I'm not going to go all the way through this one, so I don't really have to worry about coming out the bottom. Well, I'll probably worry a little bit about it, but not as much. And I do want to try and keep that so that way I'm drilling somewhere near the center and that I'm not overhanging. So you notice there that I actually got out past the edge, which is not good. So make sure you've got that on a flat surface there. But other than that, close to the middle. You can make sure that's down flat. Don't make sure it's not tilted off to one side or something crazy. And again, you should be able to see that the top surface of that is flat as well. This is going to be a deeper, narrower hole, which means that it's going to be more sensitive to any error in placement. I've got my smaller drill bit. I'm going to load that into the chuck. Again, just going to tighten this down. Went the wrong way. Go. Make sure it's in there straight. You see there's still wobbling because it's not in there straight. Straighten it out, tighten it down a little bit more. Make sure that's good. Get your key, tighten that down a little bit more. Again, doesn't need to be kill it tight, but you want to tighten up that it's not going to slip as you're turning it around. Again, make sure you take your key out, and then we can start putting ourselves in position. So I'm going to get close to the hole. this down to check and make sure I'm straight. I'm a little bit off. I actually want to go to that second hole because that's the first one. A little bit off. That looks good in that direction. A little bit off in that direction. So I'm going to come out and make sure that that's nice and straight. That looks good. Again, you shouldn't see the drill bit shift at all as you touch into that spot. On here I have a gauge. This is at a half inch when I'm touching my part. So if I want to cut a one inch deep hole, I'm going to go to one and a half inches. So make a mental note as to how deep you want to go on this. I don't want to go all the way through this part. This is an inch and a half between the top of my part and the bottom of my part, so I'm not going to go all the way through. Again, I don't actually go all the way to an inch, but I want to get pretty close. And again, I'm going to have to do a couple pecks at this because, again, it's a pretty long hole. So we'll turn it on. Just like last time, we do a nice even pressure. That's about a quarter of an inch deep there. I'm going to come back up. I'd like to turn this off for a second. I'm going to clear the pieces of chips out of the flutes. So if you see chips being stuck in your flutes of your bit, that's going to prevent you from clearing out additional chips. So you want to make sure this stays clean. If you see it get fouled up, Take a second, clean it out, and then you can continue. We have to do it over hand. Get back where I started now. This is just moving out, so that's okay. There's a half inch deep. This is just moving out, so I'm doing okay. Get very gentle pressure, I'm not trying to rush. So watch those chips, making sure they're moving up and out as I go down. Looks like we're doing okay. And beautiful. Come back up. All the way back up, turn it off, use your brush, clean out your extra chips, and we should have a nice hole.